In this video, I explain you introductions and objective of condenser. So first I explain what is a condenser. So condenser is a one type of heat exchanger. So from the words what we understand. So heat exchanger means it is a device in which heat is transferred between the two substance or a two medium. So when we need to exchange some things, we are required some other mediums. Means in a heat exchanger, there is a two substance are there and they are transferred the heat. So why this heat exchanger name is given condenser? Because in a heat exchanger, condensation process is carried out. What is the meaning of condensation? Condensation means steam is converted into the water. It is called as the condensation. Okay. So this video is for the power plant engineering subjects. So when you study the refrigeration and air conditioning, at that time the two words are come. One is condenser and one is the evaporators. So these condenser and evaporator both are the heat exchangers. So in the condenser and evaporator they are transferring the heat. But in a condenser what happen? The vapor refrigerant is converted into the liquid. That's why its name is given the condensers. Means condensation process is going on. In the evaporator, evaporation process is going on. That's why heat exchanger name is given the evaporators. So in the evaporators, the liquid refrigerant is coming from the expansion wall is supplied. Means inlet in the evaporator is the liquid refrigerants, and they absorb the heat from the space when we require to do cooling. So this liquid refrigerant is converted into the vapor refrigerant. Means it is the evaporation process is going on. That's why its name is given the evaporators. Here we are discussing about the condenser for the power plant engineering subjects. So now it is clear in a heat exchanger condensation is going on. That's why it is called as the condensation process. So here this is the condensers. In the condenser we supply the exhaust steam from a turbines and we need to convert this exhaust steam into the liquid means we need to convert into the water. For that we need to supply some other mediums. Okay, According to definition of heat exchangers we require some other mediums. And as a other medium, we supplied the cooling waters. So in these condensers, there is a two possibilities are there that the uh, exhaust steam coming from the turbines and the cooling waters are mixed. Means it is called as the direct contact type heat exchangers and the indirect contact types. So there is a two types of heat exchangers are there. So depending on the requirements, they are directly mixed the steam. And the cooling waters or there are indirect heat transfer are there means some pipe is used and from the pipe the cooling water is supplied and from the outside the steam is passed. So when this heat exchange takes place between the steam and water, the steam is converted into the water and this water is called as the condensate. And the temperature of the cooling water is increased and they are further supplied it for the cooling in the cooling tower. Now we understand what is the objective of steam condensers. So there is a main two objectives are there. First objective is to create the low back pressure means vacuum for the turbine exhaust so as to obtain the maximum possible energy from a steam and thus to secure a high efficiency. Okay, So this point we can understand by using the PV diagram in the next slides. Okay, So at that time you can clear the more things. So in a turbine that is a some exhaust pressures are there and suppose the expo exhaust pressures are the atmosphere pressure then what happens they give some work done. So, but we reduce this exhaust pressure from the atmosphere pressure to the vacuum pressures then we are able to achieve the more work. Means by using the condensers we can maximize the work done from the turbine. Means here we mentioned that point the maximum possible energy from the steam is used. That's why the condenser is used. And the secondary objective that is a very basic that's the condense the exhaust steam from the turbine and thus recover the high quality feed water for reuse in the cycles. Okay, so that we understand in these diagrams the exhaust steam is converted into the condensate means it is converted into the waters and this condensate or a water is again supplied it to the boiler means we can again and again use the waters okay so we are require the less quantity of the fresh waters now here you see this is the pv diagram on the y axis pressure is there on the x axis volume is there so this is the p1 pressures means it is the boiler pressure means 
this horizontal line is indicate the boiler pressure okay so that is the process in the boiler and this p1 pressure of a steam is supplied into the turbines okay so this cow line is indicate the expansion of a steam in a turbines so in a turbine that is isentropic expansion is going on so here we draw this two horizontal line one this first horizontal line is for the atmosphere pressures and second one this last horizontal line is for the condenser pressure p2 so condenser pressure is the vacuum pressure so for creating the vacuum in the condenser that is our different four types of the devices are used that we discuss later on in a few videos so suppose we are not use the condenser then what happens we are achieving this work done okay means these horizontal lines and these horizontal lines the area between these two line is indicate the work without condensers and suppose we use the condensers in a steam power plant then what happens this area is increase and this shaded area is indicates the additional work due to condenser means by using the condenser we can increase the work done in a condensers the thermal efficiency of a condensing unit is higher than that of a non condensing units for the same available steam so thank you for watching this video if you learn some things then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering various link for power plant engineering is provided in the descriptions as well as you can visit the playlist and in the playlist various sections are there according to the subject so thank you for watching this video